organization in the winter time to have surgeries that they super rich uh, to go to. I you can get a plane and fly down to America, or you can maybe pay on top of your own system the way you can in some European countries. But you just stop waiting. And I think that is a major concern. So again, nobody's knocking the public health care system, but remember, we are a hybrid system in our country. And one part of it, the private sector not only supports itself, but it pays along with taxes for the public sector. So you make it all one, you know, you better really know what you're doing. And Okay, we've blown a small business, got five tours, the son has one. 
but I've worked 35 years in manufacturing, and I know the healthcare game. And right now, I don't care about healthcare. I I care about the value of the dollar. And I thank you, Mr. Congressman, for your conservative bid. <laughs> our economy. Many things need to be fixed before health care. He also inherited a big deficit, and we hear it all the time. He has made it bigger. He also inherited a crack in the Liberty Bell. I don't want that fixed either. <laughs> And when this deficit spending happens, I want to know that my X amount of dollars is still worth at least X amount of dollars. Hey. You, you hit, uh, you know, we're talking about health care, but I actually saw an article this morning which really goes to where you're at, I think. London, this is Joe. About, the health care debate, this is really about how big government is going to be. Yeah. 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 And I don't think that's, that's true. <coughs> and, you know, I don't think you can have the kind of deficits we're running indefinitely and not have hyperinflation somewhere down the road. And if you've been saving dollars, you know, trying to prepare for your retirement, you know, that is going to diminish the value. If you remember back the last time we had really, really bad inflation was the late 70s and the early 80s. Yeah. I remember Carter. Jimmy Carter. 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 I, I live with you in Washington. He's First finally not going to be the worst president ever. Bush. Bush. My wife and I got involved in our real group, and she said, you need to get over here today. This is the last time I think I'll be able to get you a house for 9.5% interest. And we thought we were getting a bargain. And honestly, we were, given where interest rates were at. So you don't want to go back there. Right. Because right. the value is everything you have. And that's really what a lot of the struggle is. Now, give me a good civics lesson, something you all know. Most of the things we.